This Library on Wheels is more than just a bookmobile. It's a multi-purpose vehicle offering Queens residents books and tools needed to live a healthy lifestyle. We met up with Queens Public Library Outreach Assistant Lachelle Thornhill Booth here at Baisley Pond Park in South Jamaica to learn more about the program and why it's so near and dear to her heart. I see a lot of children. I see a lot of students. I see a lot of elderly patrons as well. So I feel like it's a great opportunity for me to give back to my community because I'm also born and raised from Queens. Now the cloudy skies and fall chill may have kept a lot of folks indoors today, but organizers tell me that locations are chosen based on neighborhoods where foot traffic is high and vaccination rates are low to encourage folks to roll up their sleeves. One of our departments is in charge of data. So that department was in charge of finding all of the locations or the communities within Queens that had the lowest vaccination rates. We decided that it would be best to outreach to those communities that had the least amount of knowledge within COVID-19 wellness and health. So for the next few weeks, the Queens Mobile Library will be hitting the roads of the Rockaways in Southeast Queens to provide local residents with free access to facts and information about good health and self-care amid the ongoing pandemic. You're able to browse and take out as many books as you'd like. Anything related to COVID-19, books of that sort, so they're fairly new books, but this was um, books that were selected by our medical librarian. And um, most of them have to do with health and wellness, whether it's psychological health, emotional, physical, anything of that nature. I feel good about it because, you know, it encouraged me because I'm a housewife and, you know, cook, wash, clean, you know, I would start going to the library and, you know, pick up some books and read. There will be giveaways and visitors can also sign up for a library card if they don't have one, as long as they have the required information. Once on the bus, masks are required. If you don't have a face covering, one will be provided. Each visit is limited to one patron or one family at a time for safety. The traveling library will be making stops through November 17th. For more information on where it'll be headed next, visit our website, pix11.com, for a complete list of locations. In South Jamaica, Queens, I'm Stacey. CN Gooden, PIX11 News.